Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at replace face, but particularly an advanced replace face, right? Because certainly it's easy to just draw a surface above a face and select replace face, but more often than not, I get asked, you know, how can I use replace face with multiple surfaces? And so that's what we're going to look at today. So you might have seen this model from my last video we created this grip and now we want to design the bottom of it right so I went ahead and cut a little section and put it away so, alright that's like my working space sure and now the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this first extrude surface here so a typical replace face is as follows so like select the face that you want to replace and then the surface you want to replace it with when you hit the green check your model looks just like that right Awesome, so that works easy. Um, and certainly maybe we've seen that before, but what happens when you want to do more than just one face, right? So here we have one surface defined in the bottom and maybe a second surface defining the side contours. So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide this body so that I can work with these surfaces and clean them up a little bit. First thing we're going to do is trim away the stuff we don't need. Standard mutual trim, select both surfaces, and the entities we want to remove. So let's go ahead and remove that, that, and that. So that what we're left with is that general shape. Sweet. Now how many surfaces do we have here, right? Let me just click on that guy there, that guy there. We have one, two, three different surfaces that are defining this geometry. So in order to merge those all into one continuous piece here, we're going to select our fillet tool and we're going to do a face fillet option. We're going to select our one surface followed by another surface. We can just do this one at a time. And what it'll do is it'll put a fillet in between those and blend them together, right? Which will also generate two surfaces as opposed to three. So it acts kind of like the knitting operation. One down, one to go. Select my fillet tool. Select the reference face. Next, the face we want to fill it with. Green check. And our model's just that much closer now. So when we go back to our solid body, we'll go ahead and show that again. We can see how we're trying to redefine the bottom of this grip with the curvature and geometry of the surfaces. Now when I select replace face, Simply select the face you want to replace in the surface. Notice that when I click on that, I get the whole surface, one continuous surface. Again, that's because the fillet tool knitted the surfaces together when we created the fillet. I hit the green check. My geometry is recreated. I can hide my surfaces. And our grip looks that much cooler. Now, from here, you can just go ahead and you know select faces to fillet, throw some extra geometry in there. Make it look a little bit better. Check off pro tangent propagation if you need to. And, uh, and your grip's finished. So I hope this was helpful. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.